Sharp-tailed grouse tend to be uh, use uplands, high uplands, and so they're they're on the dry uh, native grass, uh, kind of rolling hills areas. Sharp-tailed grouse are pretty widely distributed across Montana and the, and the plains. There's a lot of them across the American Prairie Reserve. They dance on leks as well as the sage grouse. They tend to dance much longer, so they'll start usually two weeks before the sage grouse do, and dance two to four weeks after the sage grouse are done dancing. Sharp-tailed generally dance from mid-February to uh, middle of April. All grouse species, when they're dancing on the lek, the dancers are the males, and they form a circle with the most competitive male in the center and least competitive males ranging out from there in, in concentric circles. And the females, when they come in to elect to select a mate, will try to breed only with the males that are the most dominant, or that are at the center of the lek. The sharp tails have a very distinctive dance. They have uh, air sacs on the sides of their neck, and they do more of a strut with the very rigid wings, and a rhythmic drumming of the feet on the ground, and just inflate the air sacs as a visual display. Seeing the sharp tail of the sage grouse dance is, is an amazing experience. It's something that most people don't witness. And just to be able to see these, these birds out in their native habitat in according ritual is very impressive.